too busy gallivanting around the spiral, see if you can find time to attend class. Specifically, my class. Please report to my classroom at once. It is time for you to learn a new spell. Oh, if it isn't my most challenging student. So good of you to grace the classroom with your presence. If you're interested in advancing your magical studies beyond your current capacities, you would do well to pay attention here. Today's lesson is about the mythic beast known as Orthrus, a two-headed dog that is brother to Cerberus, a three-headed dog. Both were birthed by the monstrous creature known as Typhon. Your next spell is to learn to summon that mighty beast. This is no minor task, and to ready yourself for it, you must accomplish several difficult labors to demonstrate your worthiness. First, though, you must learn more about Orthrus. Your homework assignment is to prepare a report about the creature. As always, research is your ally. Ask the librarian, Harold Arvelston, to aid you. To the library, then, and come back here when you've got the book. students paying more attention to the fundamental of education. Reading. How can I help you? Hmm. A book about two-headed Orthrus, brother to Cerberus. That'll be a challenge indeed. You see, all of the bestiaries dealing with multi-headed creatures are part of a rotating interlibrary program. I'm afraid that the book you seek is likely one of those to have made its way to Crocotopia's library. Speak to Zene there, and he should be able to assist you in getting the book you need. volume about Orthrus, the two-headed brother to Cerberus? Indeed, such a volume is familiar to me. But alas, I have bad news for you. That volume was one of a rotating selection recently sent along to the Royal Museum in Marleybone. Speak to Clancy Pembroke at the museum. He should be able to get the volume to you. My sincerest apologies for the inconvenience. Come a long way from Wizard City, young wizard. How can I help you today? You're looking for a book about two-headed dogs? What an amazing coincidence! I just packed up those books a few hours ago and sent them back to the library in Wizard City. Normally, I'd have needed to take them and mail them myself. But since you helped out at the Marleybone Post Office, they were picked up and sent almost immediately. So you've come all this way for nothing, I'm afraid. At least you didn't have to go to Mushu, eh? Check back at the Wizard City Library for your book. That rascal Ardleston should have it by now. I wanted to see. I'm embarrassed to note that the book you wanted just arrived. I've got it right here. I set it aside for you, in case Drake sent any more students after it. You accept the book from Harold Argleston. 
The title is Mulder's Cryptozoological Survey of Multi-Headed Canines and Their Influence in Folklore, Myth, and Popular Culture. Up through Ot. How many of these multi-headed dogs are there anyway? certainly took you long enough. You can use that desk over there to prepare your report. You crack the book and get to work. After a long time reading and writing, you've completed the report. After so much adventure, it feels a little strange to actually be doing homework. What is it now? Professor Drake seems almost annoyed that you've completed your report. He gives it a brief glance and sets it on his desk. This will do. The content was acceptable. But your penmanship is appalling. Now that you've demonstrated you know what Orthrus is, it's time for the real work to begin. Since you're no doubt an expert on Orthrus now, you might be able to guess what the next obstacle is. Young wizard. A young wizard... Nothing? I wonder if you even read your own report. If you're going to be summoning two-headed authors, you're going to need to get the dog's collars, and that, I'm afraid, will not be easily accomplished. It's rumored that the last such collars were lost in Dragonspire. It's up to you to venture into Dragonspire and find a suitable pair of collars for Orthrus if you plan on summoning him. My recommendation would be to start at the Athenium to determine where such collars might be found. Talk to Milos Bookworm. He should be able to assist you. There, young wizard. By the great dragon shiny scale, this place never seemed as busy as when it lies in ruins. I hope I can help you, but I warn you that things are in a bit of a shambles. A twin collar for a demon dog? Obviously, there's nothing like that here in the Athenian. However, you're in luck, or at least something close to lucky. Ranulf Moonclaw, a collector of rare beasts, had a few two headed pets over the years. I suspect that Ranulf and his menagerie met their end in his tower, though this ghost-haunted place might make the search a perilous one. So that is all the advice I can give you. Go to the tower of Ranulf Moonclaw and see if a suitable collar for your two-headed demon dog Orthrus can be found therein. You can find Moonclaw's tower in the labyrinth.
Well, let me see what manner of collar you've retrieved. Very well, I suppose this will have to suffice. Now that you have enough knowledge of Orthrus to summon him, and you've got a collar to control him when he arrives, you're only missing the final piece of the equation. I don't suppose you know, do you? Very well then, apparently you still need me to explain everything to you. You need something to lure that two-headed dog to you. What do dogs like? That's right, bones. Don't worry though, this can be dealt with easily enough. You simply need to speak with Dwargan in Nightside and see if he can find you a suitable bone. you to speak with me? He doesn't think I'm to blame for what happened to his brother, does he? Oh, you want a bone of some sort? A mythical bone to summon a mythical two-headed dog? You speak of Orthrus, I presume. I'm just the thing for you. Dwargan rummages around for a moment, then hands you a small paper-wrapped package. That's the bone from a two-headed cat. The natural enemy of a two-headed dog. Orthrus will come from anywhere in the spiral to get one of these. The bone from a two-headed cat? How... Interesting. I was expecting something different, but it seems that one must make do with whatever inadequacies one is presented with. Now that you've got the knowledge of Orthrus, a suitable twin collar for the beast, and a bone to entice it, you are as ready as you can possibly be. There is little more I can do for you in this matter, save for telling you where to best summon the beast. Though his brother Cerberus was a watchdog of the dead, Orthrus was a herd dog, utilized by the Titans to herd their sacred cattle. As such, there is no better place to summon Orthrus than Mushu. Go then to the ancient burial grounds in Mushu and seek out the proper place to summon two-headed Orthrus. You should seek an entrance to the underground, perhaps guided by a samurai spirit. This looks like as good a place as any. You pull out the bone and keep the collars behind your back. You don't know what to say, so you call out, Here, doggy, and whistle. You hold out the bone from the two-headed cat, and Orthrus seems pleased. It wags its tail. You scratch it behind its ears and slip the collar onto each neck. Good doggy. Now you sense that Orthrus will come whenever it is called. I see from your demeanor that you've accomplished the impossible. Again. 
it pains me to say it, but you've become quite the example to the other students. Do not squander my goodwill. This spell should allow you to summon Orthrus to battle whenever you are threatened. 